I've officially just about had it up to here with this ish. See? Oops. I just put that brand new battery in there. And already, something in this truck is killing all of my batteries. It's time, you see? Make up for them. Big time. I left for two weeks, came back, started right up, everything was fine. Came back this week, one week a week! Try to start it up, it wouldn't sink off start. What is wrong with my man eye truck? Oh, what's this pile of junk? This is the hard drive from an iPod from a friend of mine online that I am attempting right now to replace. Reason for that is this hard drive has quit functioning properly. If I were to plug it in right now, try to turn it on. Well, you know what? I'll do it. I'll just show you what it's doing. Okay, so for right now, it's a little out of power, so... I gotta grab my cable over here in this disgusting mess of my room. Yeah. I'm gonna plug it up. Okay, it says charging, please wait. But give me just a moment here and I might be able to reset it into turning on. There we go. And you can hear the hard drive now. Well, I'm hoping you can hear the hard drive. <clears throat> it's clicking like a madman. And hard drives are not supposed to do that. So, I am replacing this particular hard drive. Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. <laughs> so, I'm replacing it with a hard drive I actually ordered about three months ago. It's kind of funny that way. It's actually not a direct replacement, but it should work. <laughs> so, I'll get that down up and we'll see if it works. Well, the good news is, the iPod still works with the new hard drive in it. The bad news is, the replacement hard drive I bought is too big for the iPod, and I can't close the case. But, it's working. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just working it with my iPod, or iTunes here. And... On a base level, it's at least working, but I can't keep this hard drive in it because I can't close the case. It's too thick. Welcome to your new iPod, which isn't really new. <laughs> yeah. Whoa, camera is falling backward. Yeah, this hard drive is just a little too thick. And can't close the case on it, so that sucks. <clears throat> So we'll go up here and disconnect. See, this iPod's a little newer than mine, so it's got all this special cool graphics and crap on it. <laughs> got all that. Oh, it wants me to select the language now. So yeah, at least the hard drive works. <clears throat> I can find another use for it, if I, and then I'll buy another hard drive for this iPod. But um, yeah, I'll close out of this and... I'll show you why this hard drive is not going to work. Okay, here you can see a side-by-side -side of the two hard drives. As you can see, they have different model numbers. MK1231 versus MK1214. This is the one that came out of the iPod. Yeah, and this is the one I bought. As you can see, it sticks out quite a ways. So, yeah. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to buy another hard drive to put in her iPod. Because this one is more than just a little too thick. Unfortunately. So, yeah. That just sucks. <laughs> but we'll get it fixed up eventually. Hopefully. Out of my lens. In the meantime... <clears throat> I have a Best Buy bag. 
that's almost never a good thing. <sighs> yeah. I finally broke down and bought a GoPro. Yep. But that's not all. I didn't just buy a GoPro Hero 3 Plus Black Edition. I also bought a memory card for it. And an LCD screen for it. I guess I have that box upside down. Yeah, so I bought the whole shebang for this right here. <laughs> Spent entirely too much money, but that's okay. Do -do -do. So we're going to open some boxes here. So here's the pile of stuff. <laughs> what fun, what fun. Uh, let's see what we got here. You know, I've only ever seen these things in their actual waterproof casing. I've never actually seen one out of it before. It's so tiny. I mean, <laughs> look at that. It's a tiny camera. It's a micro camera. It's a battery cover. Let's see. I'm guessing this battery's probably not going to be charged right off the bat. Oh, it's got a pull tab. Nice. Well, let's try it. Hey, we got something. <laughs> no SD. Okay, then. Well, we'll get this thing all set up then, I guess. After I figure out how the heck to use it. Alrighty, then. Let's see how this works. And this is slightly low resolution, but 240 frames per second. At the same size as what I could only do 120 frames per second with. Actually higher than I could do with the uh, SX230. I'm covering the microphone. I think this is the microphone. This is the microphone. It is the microphone. And the nice thing is, is it takes sound with the video. So. Okay, so this thing is freaking cool. Like I can get up in there. It takes a second, but it comes back. <laughs> Whee! Yeah, it's got a bit of a delay to it, but it's that's it's still it's live view basically. Minus about three seconds, I guess. Yeah. No, it won't go sideways. Why won't it go sideways? Will it go this way? No, it doesn't want to go sideways. Huh? Whatever. But anyway. From here, well, I actually have the screen on here, too, so I, I actually have double live view. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I'm enjoying playing with this thing. And the neat thing about this is, it's a touch screen. So that is really freaking cool. And I can go in here, and I can tell it to use the Wi-Fi remote instead. And it'll do that. It disconnects the phone, which is fine. But it gives me the opportunity to use this deal. Yeah, I gotta unplug it. There we go. Got a neat little charger. But yeah, it basically does the same thing that the uh, camera itself does, as far as the LCD screen. It's actually a ah, and I'm freaking it out again. Okay, there's two LCDs on this thing now because I got the color one back there. But 
the remote duplicates what's on the GoPro. So that's pretty neat. And I can actually control it from here and shut it off and all that fun stuff. Let's see. Doody doody doo. Let's see if it'll stay here. It will. Awesome. I'm just controlling it from the remote. Shut down. <laughs> and then the cool thing is, the Wi Fi actually stays on, that little blinking blue light. So I can turn it on remotely. And there you go. And, what more, I have the ability to set this thing up so that when I turn it on, it automatically starts doing something. So, like, let's see. Go in here. Nope. Set up. One button mode. Oh, it's on the remote. Well... Wi-Fi off. There we go. I can do one button mode to where as soon as I turn this thing on, it starts doing whatever it's set up to do, which is video, photo, burst, or time lapse. So I can set this thing up like, I don't know, in the windshield of the truck <laughs> and just hit the button and it'll start taking time lapse right out of the gate. So that would be sweet. Yeah, so. Here's me playing with this thing now. I'm going to go nuts with this thing. <laughs> and the awesome thing is, it takes 720p video at 120 frames per second with sound. Yeah, everything I wanted in that SX20. The only sad thing about it is this little anti-zoom lens with the whole wide angle bit oh it still wants me to select stuff go away yeah anyway uh, I need to figure out which camera is taking the video now so yeah I'm playing with all that fun stuff now <laughs> rather interesting yeah welcome to the future where the preview is not supported I thought it would be, but it isn't. That is unfortunate, because I was intending to do something fun with this. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so how's the narrow look on the 60 frame 120 or 720 p HD 60 frame per second? Oh, I have a mind to stick you in your case. Got the extended back on it for the LCD on the back, so that's pretty cool. The remote flashes along with the main unit flashing, so everything's flashing at me right now. <laughs> yeah. Taking pictures of everything. My SX20. My SX230 which is absolutely disgusting. Ew! Where'd all that crap come from? The screen doesn't work! It sucks. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. This is the new camera and it is cool. <laughs>